Bombard. to my view tv the people's platform the home of undiluted news reviews updates and your daily dose of entertainment don't forget to hit the notification bell leave us a comment like share and subscribe i don't bring nobody forward in your future for me everything where you see up my natural talent let me tell you something you see, when you know what to please the audience with, it's simple. Me. Well, I go on, my people, hope everybody, you know, okay, hope everybody, you know, all right, give thanks to life and the gathering. Thanks now, my people, because I sit down and I ask myself that question, yeah. What would I do if I was that child parent? I say, people, that cut you different. Well, at me in Trinidad, you know, we should find. Even my worse at a worse at a worse at a enemy. Then I wish it bad nobody. And if you're a parent, I go live through this. Ah boy, you know me I talk about? Me I talk about a little girl. But them cut off her head. Yeah, four year old. Cut off her head. Ah. Yeah. <laughs> this is four year old Amara Rose Lalit. Amara's headless body was found in one of the family's two bedroom home at 5th Street, 5 Rivers, Aruka. Her mother, Trisha Villarreal, recalls what transpired shortly before she lost her angel on Monday night. When he tried to drag me into the room, because he looked like he was going to harm me, and I was calling her to come out of the room, and Mara thinking we played, so she, she was like, she laughing, you know? When I call her to come, she not coming, she just stay on the bed. So I had no choice, I had to try and get away. Police said around 10, 10 p.m., Valerel went to the Aruka police station and reported a domestic dispute. But by the time officers returned to the home, the child was dead. Police say she was killed in one of the bedrooms, her body dumped in another, and her head placed in a barrel behind the 5th Street home. So gruesome was the find that police officers were brought to tears, according to Senior Superintendent Richard Smith. It's something that, that, that no one would like to see, even the officers who, have, who were the first responders on this scene. They are quite distraught at this stage. Some of them even reduced the tears. I know we have to send them for counseling. Villarreal said this was something she never expected. I, I can't say nothing bad about her. I don't know what would make him want to harm that child so much. She was a darling. She was everybody darling. She said the suspect, who was taken into custody, never showed any signs of violence, especially towards Amara. When it is, I discovered that she, thought she he did kill her, I, uh, I was shocked. I didn't think he would have done that. He never showed any, any kind of violence towards Amara. He would have killed for Amara. He was so protective of her. Residents of Fifth Street said they were shocked by what happened. Not wanting to speak on camera, the residents said the suspect kept to himself but never exhibited signs of violence. Amara's father, Shannon, said while he was out of the child's life for the past three years because of a strained relationship, he never forgot about her. That was the best time in my life. I think about my daughter every day. Every day I used to study my daughter. Every day. Every day I used to study she. As both parents reunited for the first time in years, the one thing they both agreed on was that she was their greatest blessing. Both parents were consoled by relatives who advised them not to blame themselves or each other for what happened. Let me tell you the truth, you know, people. I know how our news this, you know. And man and two people go in the comment section because I say, my if you know our news this, you know, why you bring that the news that? Let me tell you something. It could have happened anywhere in the world. It could have happened in a yard. Because remember, you know, anything yard man see, a yard man see, them just pick it up and carry it about there. So we know they're far from that. I mean, I call it him to be, you know. But that's why I could know some people. We have to be careful. I always tell you, know. Oh, we know. And them are doing things. People who don't know, we you know, not doing nothing, you know. Because they're afraid, you know. We ask Christ that, I know, say them afraid. But you see the people, them. Who know, we? 
And them are the first set of germs they're ready to take with you. People, careful of the people that are around you. Know. Watch your six, but take your three at all costs. The enemy could have been right beside you all the night time or day time or whatever time you want to sleep. Enemy could have like cooked food. Enemy could have been the one who gave the money for buy the food. Anyway, who are here? Here, who don't here? I just that. So catch your bunks now. Like what we did with international segment of the news. So before we reach the local part, we could just get that little piece out of the way. Because from the other day, any time you hear a shot beat up Uncle Sam country, let me tell you something. Jamaicans are going to pick up some and them are going dead. See what happened on the screen? Shakif Brown, he's 27. Then I know say, a friend turned enemy thing again. Yes, so the people that say my view, just say go on for go on. Them shot him, kill him. I just say who shot him my view up at the hospital right now. I battle for fame life. So I say we'll land there. So now Jamaica never did it. Fist it to its same blade out. You know what people? They can't move and give people them some news. I know about. Catch your bugs. Big E that police them drop your ball again. A 19-year-old laborer from Orange River in Clarendon has been slapped with several charges, including attempted murder stemming from a March 31st incident in the parish. Charges of attempted murder, possession of a property weapon, use of a firearm to commit a felon, and unauthorized possession of ammunition is Courtney Lewis. This boy should be underground. But the police them do foolish this again. Report which should news from the Big E that police about Maple Police Station that about 4 p.m. a man was at home when Lewis, another man, allegedly opened gunfire at him. In an effort to escape, the complainant ran from the house but was reportedly chased and shot several times. He was subsequently assisted to the hospital where he was admitted for treatment. Later, that's a go on, power go on. Lewis later turned himself into the police where he was charged after being positively identified. His court date is being finalized. Why we never give him a funeral service? How that him should I get? Anyway, right to the St. James now. A businessman was one of two charged following the seizure of an illegal firearm in Granville in St. James. The businessman, 20-year-old Joshua Bell from Portobello, was charged alongside Linval Watson, age 22, otherwise called Brian, from Kingsgate District in Anchovy, both in St. James. They were charged with possession of a prohibited weapon. Report reached on news that about 1 p.m., a team of officers were carrying out operation at a vehicle checkpoint along Chambers Drive Main Road when they signaled and stopped a Nissan motor car. Bell was reported to the driver of the car. Watson was a passenger seated in the back. It is alleged that while the officer engaged the driver, both men began behaving in a manner that arose their suspicion of the police. They were asked to exit the vehicle and a search was reportedly conducted in their presence. It is alleged that during the search, guess the one power one. Ta da! The police then find the firearm under the back section of the front passenger seat. Both men retained the custody and later arrested and charged. No court date has been set for the accused. You know, see, police then get the chance to eat this food, man. Police them are Japanese show with you. Police them are hungry. Better look shoot. A man accused of pulling a gun on his mother. Children obey your parents. Police someone decides to watch a man. Him a pull gun off his mother. Let me tell you now again. A man accused of pulling a gun on his mother during an argument was remanded when he appeared in St. Gatchin Parish Court. Doral Chinock of Salt Spring St. James is charged with possession of a prohibited weapon and assault at common law. Information reached on news that on March 29, the accused was in Above Rock St. Catching when there was a disagreement between him and family members. He reported a brandish a gun, which he allegedly pointed at his mother while swearing at her and other relatives. The matter was reported to the police. And guess what? Instead, the police them forward and still report him head back. I remember my mom, family tell the police them say, I've got enough. You know. They decided to never put handcuff on him. I slap, you know, should I slap out the boy head back? I tell her the truth. So, one of the boy feet head back should I get slapped out too? A said catching father who allegedly physically assaulted his 11 year old daughter was granted an extension of his bail when he appeared in the St. Catching Parish Court on Tuesday. The accused has been charged with child abuse. Yes, you cannot abuse the child. Okay? When the matter was mentioned, it was revealed that there are still outstanding documents in the case. Seeing a parish judge, I look a friend over the Court right over the next Desreen told the accused to keep the peace and not to interfere with the witness or the complainant. It is alleged that the complainant was constantly beaten by the accused. In late March, several cuts, bruises, and swelling. Wally Pakwoko were reported notice on the body while she was at school. A report was made. After a relative got knowledge of the situation, the child's father was subsequently arrested and charged. He is set to appear in court on July 2nd. Anyway, people, if you look at it, again, let me know, okay? Mr. People, somebody in a Clarendon a ball right now. What is better, them than me? 
You understand? A matter of fact. What if people kind of happy because they care with a mashup? You know, so the man them running. And the engine oil operation of the and they say ten million dollar worth of engine oil could have been engine oil. I want to find engine number shop, you know. Get your bunks. We conducted a certain line of investigation, they brought us to this establishment. Um, on close inspection, we discovered four containers, and out of the four, there were three containers. Uh, laden with counterfeit engine oil and let's just counterfeit engine oil because from our uh, enforcement operations persons are of the view that we only enforce uh, clothing shoes bags you know uh, pharmaceuticals but we are here now looking at motor oil which by itself is bad it's not also a breach of the trademark of Chevron's trademark but it is something that will harm your engine because buying counterfeit oil, it doesn't contain the, the viscous, right? An element that, that, that allows the oil to, to moist your engine. So the viscosity is of no moment. So what it does is that your, your engine might, might um, overheat, might eventually explode. So buying counterfeit engine oil is, is, by itself is not a good thing for, for you as consumers and not for anybody. That is that way that is concerned and people catch your bunks now. Long gone are the days when they see wanted list put out and a man alone when they see panic. No, 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 no. Long time me tell this woman and a whole heap of things and them a get to But their days are numbered. <gasps> Negril people, who don't know this one here? Who don't know Tanya Lewis? Who don't know a good, 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 good? Big, big, big thief this man. Big, big, big thief. I'm going tell you something. Big thief, little thief, it doesn't matter. Slap, all of them forget slap with. So what I said that I mean, what I said, I know me already. And now I take you back. Then we'll land it now. Let me ask the commissioner something. You all right? You all right? The first press conference. Are you come out here and try to tell the people them lie? Which part you sit down and see crime done? People are lying, my tell. Don't believe him. Don't believe him. Better on the say. People are dead and nobody now come come claim them so they can put out and say them dead. You understand? And some people who do fine. But we tell the people them say them dead. Who don't now put it on the list. A whole heap of people are dead about here, dear in, dear out. Here, Commissioner. In the first quarter of 2024, we have observed a significant reduction in several categories of major crimes compared to the same period in 2023. Notably, murders have decreased by 13%. Shootings are down by 4%. Rape cases have declined by 38%. In terms of property crimes, robbery remained unchanged with 171 cases, while break-ins saw a decrease of 17%. Our focus on illegal firearms has yielded tangible results. In 2024, there has been a 7% increase in gun seizures with pistols being the most commonly seized firearm. Ammunition seizures rose by 41%, reflecting our intensified efforts to rid our streets of these dangerous tools of violence. We asked for it, and we have been given greater legislative support through a new Firearms Act. In 2024, greater focus will be placed on removing illegal weapons from our streets and communities. You know what, people? Me not going to listen to more of the lie. So get your one for a walk one before me make one hear people business. Me I walk go back around the road because boy your father after the man will get shot on the bike when Michelle dead. He must have something to tell the people them. Plus, all the little man will live right up, right up there, there so we claim some a fisherman. Him just see news and decide say more and talk. So here you yeah. The belly button cut me to the father. You know, say that I'm to work. I'm missing the good news to the missing. We don't like, even hear poor, poor, poor in a full community. Much less for what happened more there. Shock everybody that day in our whole community. She was a cool woman, father. Cool. She just cool. She don't give no problem, father. She just cool and keep herself to herself. And them the kind of people that I tell about. When I go through the gate and look, just a, 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 like three, four feet away, the girl lie down right against the gate, die on his face. Nice girl with in, in blood, blood. And then the guy burst out in, in tears. And 
I, I was there because I don't feel to cry. I couldn't cry because to six the delay, they have two nice daughters, one going at a big school, one old school, soon get married. And to, when, the, when I look and see her daughter, they're here now, people here, and they come. And to see her daughter, just stand up and looking. I've heard a dead mother like that. The police are currently gathering their information and will share more information as soon as it becomes available. But the most important thing right now is for those who are out there to have any information that may lead to some closure to this case, that they may reach out to the police or to a JP and share what you know. I tell you already, I'm going to tell you now again. Innocent people don't get shot in her head. If you get shot in her head, you don't know what time it is. And I ask me, ask you now, tell me, I tell you now. But watch your one power, go on now, my people, because I tell you, somebody I'm going to park, you know. You understand? Right, don't know the golf for me, I deal like a thing down there. If you could know what go on, power, go on. But Pacha, what go on, power, go on. Yeah, Pacha, I wanna. Some of Paul will them to you, know, people. And guess what? Yes, you when Thick Man dead, guess who they call Thick Man? Not him. I am send go call. Tick man, you know. I made the man them stop with tick man, you know. Me attack that tick man there. You understand? Me not attack the next tick man where everybody want to get slapped with. Tomorrow, me have to deal with film case because me know what I'm doing. The extortion money where I'm not get me know what I'm doing. So if him feel like seven, I'm going to tell the people them, he make a sad mistake. Anyway, now, my people, Watch your one power, one and this me come for talk about. One whole heap of shot beat last night, don't it? Greg Park people, do you hear it? No man, nobody don't get shot, man. And it's just drastic birthday, you understand? Party that keep last night, that's why the man decides to say, the man, we laugh some whole heap of shot. But, they soon get to them and look for. Them soon get to them and look for. And yes, someone listen to me, people. Some of listen to me, forgot to tell them that. He move up one and two and family member them because something out for go on. Big war out for Guan. But I can't manage to know war this time because. Ruli give the okay for slap with Clive, aka Thick Man. Ruli give the go ahead for do that. You get me, I say? Because Clive down there at the 9 night. And when the big up segment are Guan, he really and truly go squeeze off for one shot. And Ruli link patch and say, yo, dry him out Sunday morning. We don't want him to come on a funeral. And a suck comes, then fly him back. Yeah, so comes them flying bad. Police, you don't want some information now? Because, I don't want to no feel like, say, yo, we're not digging at the apparition, you know. That brother up on the screen, you remember him? Randy, but the big idiot police, them, they have him as one innocent man, and say, yo, the youth themselves are one innocent man. But guess what, go on, power, go on. I told them, no, no. I told them, no, no, say, Randy was a key player for the chain line gang. Remember, remember, good. Randy, brother, is sharp, man. Police, if you never know. Shot man around the brother. Yeah. Two of them are two gun bags. So he get exactly where he deserve. A J man has six of them kill him still. I tell me, I tell you. A them kill him. You understand? J man, six of them. Them kill him. Remember me to tell you about them, you know? Remember me to tell you about them, the boy. The other day, I tell you, say, yo. Them all dirty gang men, but long, 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 long time. See it there? One by one, them all get fixed. Yes. See them chain line, man, them. Them fixing me because I said, Munga, a chain line man, you know. Six was part of the chain line gang until he started power over golf and become full, full, full golf member. But people, as me say, the time I come now. Yeah, come over there. I mean, I couldn't know all we are going for, we are going for. One and two, we come from my Spanish town. Over there, I didn't know. Yeah, man, we are going to push them out, send them back to Spain to get slapped away. Okay? On the screen, you know him? I don't know him either. I'm just ask you if you know him. But since you don't want to get to know him, don't need to worry yourself. And all who feel like they're going to go take down them picture of them now, you can't go and go take them down. Go and go take them down because I got them already. And I have the stories already. Keep back and relax, people. People business nice. Thanks for watching. This was a My View TV production. Remember to share, like, comment, subscribe, click the notification bell, tell a friend for tell a friend, and remember, it never bring nobody forward for cheer for him. Walk good.